Wait, before we continue on this journey of discovery, let's stop, rewind and find out how we got here. Welcome to Hastings, a seaside town and borough of East Sussex on the south coast of England. Located 53 miles or 85 kilometers southeast of London, the town gave its name to the Battle of Hastings, which took place not far from here in 1066. In the 19th century, it became a popular seaside resort. Today, Hastings is a fishing port with the UK's largest beach-based fishing fleet. So after searching through hundreds of properties, I managed to find my dream home, but I couldn't afford it. I had to settle instead for this early Victorian, 140 years old terrace house a mile off the beach. The house title mentions the year 1878, which may or may not be when the house was built. I did, however, find the first occupiers in the census of 1881. At the same time that this property was on the market, I also found other properties on the same road and on the same side of the road that had huge basements on them. And the pictures show these huge spaces. One had been converted into a garage, other one had been converted into what looks to me a wood workshop. So that made me think that, hey, my house may have a, a cellar, a basement, a void, a hole. My suspicions grew stronger that my house might contain a cellar when I had all these people come into the house, you know, builders, roofers, plumbers, and some of them off the bat would say, well, do you know you probably have a cellar? Or do you know where, where the opening is for your basement? And other people, I live in a house like this and I have a basement, or I've been to places like this. Now that grew in me this desire to look for this place, for fun mainly. What I did not know at the time was that the downstairs would be so cold, it's freezing there all the time, even with the heating on. So there's a few things that you can do in a house to make you warm. The double glazing, radiators, the heating itself, insulation and love. And while I have most of those things, I don't think that the floor tile on top of you know subfloor might help. And if I have a void underneath, it would make things much worse. So why do I want to find a basement? Two reasons. The first one is that would make my life much easier to try and put insulation on the suspended wooden floor. The second one, possibly more exciting, is the prospect of creating a new room, a new environment. You know, a games room, a man cave, a pub, or it could be a music studio. And the last builder to come in looked at, at a couple of floorboards on the floor and said, I believe the entrance is there. So the video you start to watch the beginning and will continue now, lifting those two floorboards to see what I had underneath. In the next episode, more research is needed before I break anything else in this house. The internet comes to save me. Promises of spy cameras, hobnobs and tea.